टूडे नमस्कार दोस्तों आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई चैनल लर्न एंड ग्रो टूगेदर विद अतुल जी टूडे आई केम विद द लेटेस्ट रिलीज ऑफ यूटा बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस यूटा I hope I wish that you and your family is happy healthy and wealthy the atmosphere we are staying at point of time and thank you so much for your blessings motivation and guidance to make sure that I share my knowledge with the community and bring a good content always for the service now community so this is about today's video is about service now latest release that is uta has been launched yesterday it is not publicly available it is just for the early access it means it is only and only as of now available as for the pdi this is what my understanding says and today i bring approximately 25 features which has been launched by service now in the uta release i tried my best to bring to do r and d to do hands on and want to be show you a lot of things which has been launched by service now but still if you think i am doing something wrong or i stuck somewhere please comment the things comment the mistakes in the in the comment section so that i can improve in the next video so let's start here before we go for the uta features let's discuss about the uta release calendar this calendar has been published by the developer advocates on the service now approximately last week and yesterday it was available on the early access part now in the upcoming sessions service now is going to be cover a lot of topics a lot of features a lot of product parts which they are be launching or they are already launched in the uta release and we as a developer we as a architect we as a consultant can know and understand that part so you can get this particular calendar easily on the linkedin or you can go to the servicesnlinks.com/uta you will get that part easily and you can register for yourself on this upcoming calendar as per service now they are going to be launch publicly or the journal availability in the march but as of now dates is not finalized and i think it is near about 7th of march somewhere but still dates are not finalized so i am so excited for this to available for my customer so that we can support them now let's discuss about uta so yesterday i i upgraded my instance because i was waiting for this for this thing and i go to the my developer service now developer.com and i updated my instance on the uta just one more thing which i missed out yesterday that it was 10th birthday birthday for the tech now webinar so i thanks to all the service now developers advocates who supported this program and able to make sure and make sure that we guys get information knowledge and experience from your webinar thank you so much for this part so this is what we done now if i say uta is approximately 35th or 36th release has been launched by service now so as per the city wise it is 21st release which is be there now and if i pick up the other releases like summer fall winter and other things so it is 35th or 36th release which is service now launch here how the plan for the service now uta is released now availability general availability in the march and next in the September somewhere again. This is my experience because I'm using service now for a long time. Near about August, September again. The latest version when Q will be come in the early access. Then go for the general availability and again in the same time period somewhere we're getting the Washington DC as well. But still, I'm waiting for the final dates. Before we go, let's discuss about the search or the I, I can say the features which has been launched by service now in the Utah release. Before I go for the feature, let me take you a tour of my service now and let's see. what we have so you can see here let me put stats dot do sorry i mentioned wrong it's s t a t s dot do and i can see you can see on my screen that i am on the uta release at point of time and this is my particular instance here now if i speak from the features perspective service now launch a very good features they have advancements in the workflows they have advancement in the workspace they have advancement in the optimization automation search user interface as well as i am and i am a user i am a business process consultant i am a business analyst for me the things matter which service now giving me for the my customer so the first first foremost is that search multi menu wow this is a beautiful service launch by service feature launch by service now now let's say if i want to search for the incident so i can do like this i n c i t e n incident so now you can see 
first it will search in the favorites and then it will search in the all results here let me do a little bit correction here guys one minute let me go here and f11 sorry 11 and let me remove this my environmental marker to the bottom left here uh, or i can say let's say bottom right and save it will be good now thank you and let's come into the this part so this is the first feature which has been service now launch about the search now if you want to search let's say service so first it will search on the in the favorites and then if you scroll down it will search in the main menu application navigator a beautiful feature launched by service now really happy to see this part now let's proceed to the next part that is the history property update yes so now service now launch or, or service now enabled a new property where you can see in the history about the ui pages as well and about the workspaces as well so you can see so there is a property that is called the history is equal to all you have to be do you can go and search and you can update it very easily so you can see i done this part let me open and show you that if i go here i can open the workspaces like this it is open now let it take few minutes so that i can show you in the history tab as well in the meantime let me say yep it's opening and let me open the another window as well yep now if i go here and i can see the agent workspace also there it means now i can get my workspace also on the history which was not available earlier thank you so much service now for this the third one favorite grouping a beautiful concept again from the end user perspective i can say from the fulfiller perspective i can say so now we are able to make a favorites like this but in this release service now making as a favorite as the group so like say i am incident manager i want to be club every my features or i'm sorry i, I want to uh, favorite my my applications or my module in a one place then i can do this part so it is something like we have a favorite tab on our browsers or i can say favorite folders something similar service now launcher so you can go here click on this and you can see this option create custom group here so i can click and i can create my custom group so i can say lng training and i can put any color here and i can click on the this thing and it will done for me here i can see you can see lng training is there now if you want you can create your searches and you can add your yeah, sorry you can create your favorites let's say i want to be create my favorites here go to the application navigator and i want to make this as a favorite i can done it will ask me that where you want to go you have to go on the top level you want to go in the lng a beautiful a beautiful i can say feature has been launched again i am a consultant my work is to make my customers life easy and this is what service now bring for me thank you so much now next one next one which i am giving wow customizable notification something new customer actually is a customizable uh, product notification which service now launch in this feature and how it's be working you have to go here and you have to be search for the workspace and under this you will get the option called <coughs> sorry notification triggers and in this part service now say that you will get kind of a new pop up here for the your notification part you can customize little bit how the notification should be look like so as of now it was not available out of the box sorry i am say out of the box my bad it was not available easily on the form so what i did i open the form i created a new one here and then i added this field on the form level the field called the uh, the field called the type setting next experience even though i did not configure any any email configuration or email on this part but it is available easily to do our work on this particular part it's taking little time let me open it or maybe see it has been stuck somewhere yeah, now it's been done let it click here new again because i want to show you that particular field that how it's look like for the user and where you can get this particular this particular part so you will get so here this is what the field i added let me show the field name let it be load completely up yeah. so you can say this is the field name sys naughty destination type and under the destination type if i click on the new send yes or no you can say yes override user experience yes or no again kind of a mandatory and here you can see the new type let me show so you can say as a web based as an experience as a workspace so you can configure it next experience soon i'm going to be work on this part and see that how it's look like to the customer and i can click on the save here 
Okay, I have to put the table name and category. So let me put and LNG again category. I can put ITSM and now let me submit it. Okay, some issues there. Let, let's not discuss this part because this is not the part I'm going to discuss now. Let's come to the next part. Then UI building, UI, UI builder guided setup. So now you can create, uh, they have launched the guided setup in the UI builder. But one thing good in UI builder, they have the duplicate component. So let's do one thing, open the UI builder here. Let's go and open the UI builder. Okay, it's opening. I guess it's taking time. Let me minimize my, my things here. Yep, sorry, I'm going to do this thing. Yep. So it's opening as of now. In the meantime, it's it's open the benefit which service now say here. Now no need to be create the same, I can say, mm, a component again and again. You can use or you can copy the component as per your requirement as well. So let's go here. And now you can see this is the my experience which I created yesterday for the practice. And now I click on this particular part home default. It's opening my, my UI builder as of now. Uh, another point which service now change here. They are giving you the new width size as well that you can decide the width of your particular workspace, how it will look like. This is what you can do. So you can modify as per your requirement. 180 pixel, you want to go for the 124, you want to go for the 1920, sorry, 1920. Anything you want to do, you can do. And it is a good feature given by service now. And again, this, this is the component which I added. Now I right click. And I can see this option. I let it load completely. Okay, it's loading. Okay, it's not working. It's saying that you are in the different application scope. Where it is this? Let me go to the original scope. Yep. So now you can see configure and duplicate. This is the right click menu has been enhanced by service now. This particular release now you can duplicate it quickly, and no need to be do anything like go here add variant add dashboard kind of things. There's nothing much is be required as of now. This is what service now. And it is part of this particular part. Now let me a little bit do this part and this one discuss width. We discuss here that on the catalog builder, we can see the width. Now you can set if you can fit it here like this, it can show you this option as well. And again, a good experience part. Now let's discuss about the flow design, a beautiful concept service now launch. Again, I'm not a developer, so it's very tough for me to be defined that how it's very helpful. Um, but I try to give you a little bit impression that what service now has bring in this particular part so as per the tech now uh, webinar they launch or they enhance four part, uh, things action usage action to subflow support for stages stages and the flow priority i tried something on the action usage but did not get the complete understanding so did not able to show you that part but i'll show the support for stages so now like i created one flow yesterday so i can go here so you can see this is my <coughs> flow here and now what service now say because service now launch this particular option in the last release as well in the Tokyo that service now giving the with the flow they are giving the process description as well so now this is what you are able to see here this is the support for stages now you can do this part if I click on this I can see the stages here so you can or we can add the stage here itself no need to be go here and click on the plus icon or, or go here for the stages. Nothing to be worried on that part that has been taken care of by service now. Now the flow priority is something important. Let me go here and open this flow here. <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, yes, I can go here. Flows. Uh, live context. Let me see. Uh, not this one. Flow designer. Sorry, I can go here. My bad. It's uh, this one I can say. Uh, not settings, not properties, workflow, not, not, not here. Sorry. Uh, let's say active flows here. Let me remove this. Sorry, leave this as of now. So now you can see here that I can add. Sorry, this is an active flow, but I can add my flows priority as well. I missed out that particular thing that where I can see this part. These are the active flows content definition let me open because it's a lot of things we have to be do here and uh, but this again this field is not available easily on the on the page you have to be get the field on the particular by the by the layouts part you can get it easily on the on the frame layout and you can decide what you want to be do with the flow here 
ओके इजली टू डू नथिंग टू बी वरी ऑन दैट पर इजली टू डू ना ओनली वन थिंग इज दैट बाई डिफॉल्ट वेन यू यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉपर्टी एवरी मॉड सॉरी एवरी फ्लो हैज बीन डिफाइंड एज अ मार्क एज अ मीडियम सो दिस इज बी यूजफुल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रन एनी हाई प्रायरिटी और हाई priority flow before any other flow you can define that part it is a very good property little literally sorry i'm not able to find out where it has been gone now i'm uh, i'll check something and we'll update you on on maybe in the comment section easily okay now let's come here on the second slide <coughs> on this particular part workspace builder has been given by service now it is again the part of the app engine let me pick up the app engine here so in the app engine if i go here and let me click here in the this part and i can go for the app engine here so under this part service now launch a workspace builder and they ease the use of the templates for this workspace builder we have to be activate one plugin that is a workspace builder app engine you have to be activate that and then you can do your or you can create a workspaces in the in the particular application builder so i tried this part let me show that how much experience i i able to get in this particular part along with this service now uh, uh, Enable or I can say launch another thing app engine management center that if you want to see but it is a user's experience somewhere let me show its uh, user critical or something is there yep user criteria diagnosis not this one user sorry I need to be check what was the that particular option which is be required for this not catalog admin not this user license nothing is there. A lot of lot of things which I I'm, I missed out now at point of time, but need to be see that how it's be working. Uh, let me show you on this part. Okay, let's go app engine here. So now, as I created already one application here, and I can click on this part, and let me show you the experience here. This one. So now, if you want to create experience, you can click here. You can create the workspace here, even though it is already given. But something service now launching again that how this workspace will be look like. So now. I'll come here. I can do this thing, and come here. It is be launch, and here I can decide or use my workspace builder, and I can do that part. Again, little bit not from the development perspective, so tough for me to be define this thing. But it is easily doable part, which I can say it's single time to be launch. Let me search for this app engine. Uh, app user criteria diagnostic is not this one. I'm looking for or uh, user not this one. uh let's say yep user experience this one user experience analytics are there where you can see and find out this particular part so the the proper the feature we are discussing app engine management center it is available under the this part user experience analytics you can see here it's been launching now so now it's as asking for the environment i said continue little bit slow as of now okay your does not exist so Just and continue, yep. And now I can continue here, and I can create my experience here. In the meantime, let's come here and see. This is what I'm talking about: the app engine management center. You can see that how your all applications are running. The beautiful part is that you can define here. You want to see the next experience? You can filter out your particular things. So next experience analytics, I can click here and I can see about my app engine. A very beautiful part, specifically for the architects or the developers to see that how your sessions are progressing, how your events are progressing, how your applications are progressing. A lot of things has been launched by service now. Again, I can filter it. A beautiful part, which is given by service now from the date filtration, you can do very easily. There is a one thing, a good service now launch. So here, I can do and check my particular. Workspace builder, uh, workspace builder. I can do it here. Now let's come back to the little bit on the development part on the scripting editor. Another thing which has been launched by Service Now. But before I go, let me show you the dark theme. So Service Now has been introduced a dark theme now. To do this part, you have to be just enable a property in the system property, and you can go here. Let me show you this part. Go to the user profile and go to the profile. Sorry, go to the user profile and click on the preferences. and then you will find the option called the theme here this will be done if you enable the property as a dark is able to do if you click on this part again this property is not available on all the user interfaces i when i say the user interfaces means it is mainly available for the list from the form from the dashboards kind of things but not for every kind of a record type which you are be thinking here so but it is it is a good one 
if we are using this particular property, it's a property a particular option, then I can say the scripting editor will be a, a, a bless for us. So let me try to open a business rule just to show that how it's look like. Uh, let me go here and click on the system definition business rule. And uh, let's see, this has been done. Get started, not required as of now. Yep. Okay, let's come here. Yep. So let me put up a, a little big one so that I can show that what's becoming in this particular option. So let's say I want to go for this asset and creation. Let's say this one asset for agent create asset and on site. Let's say because it's a, it is a good one, lengthy one. Uh, I can say. Um, uh, the code so i can show you that part it's advanced right so now i can go in the advanced tab and you can see this option is available now so a colorful coding is there which is very beautiful and also if you see on this part service now giving a minimized format of this particular code let me try to bring bring something more and let me change my scope as well to the global that will be more good because in the previous one in the workspaces we are in the in the other scope now let me go here and search for another one which is good check asset ci and asset insert update generate asset let me pick up this if i get something code put asset i'm looking for the purpose that i'm looking for a little bit big code yeah sync is the one good one yeah so i can say let's see what how it's been going here yes it's loading for me quickly because it's a dark uh, team, little time I'm taking to be adjust with this thing, but believe me, it's very good part which I'm I'm liking here. And specifically, if you're a hardcore developer, it is a good place for you. Okay, so now let's see it has been opening now because a lot of tabs I open, it's getting a little delayed again in the in the system here. Okay, let's go. Yep. So now you can see here, it's a completely color code, and you can see on this particular part, right? Instead of doing the scrolling, you can do like this you can see this like this. So this is what a scrolling option given by ServiceNow and also they have launched a little bit on the collapse and the expand option as well. Like if like this, you can see a code, you can this thing. A beautiful feature specifically for the developer. I'm not a developer guy, so it's very tough to be comment here. But as per experience, I can say it is a good feature launched by ServiceNow here. So this too has been done, dark theme we, uh, script writer we've done, dark theme update we have done, you have to do this part. Now let's go to the theme builder. Theme builder basically the purpose is to be make sure that the customer having a unified experience and service now call this as the next experience. So to do to do this part, we have to be install a plugin. If you are, my, you are upgrading it, if you're getting a new Utah, um, uh, I can say, release or the instance, then nothing to be doing that part. So I done the theme builder part. So you can go come here and you can see here theme builder. This is what again good. I'm so much excited for the uh, for the next session which service is going to be organized to explore a little bit on the theme builder. So you can see here you can create your own theme and you can use that part. Uh, again, from, from my perspective as a customer perspective, I'm very much happy on that part. So I tried a little bit theme create a theme you can put your logo asset company logo brand color you can do that part this is the what okay this is again kind of a tour i can say my my name here lng lng is there and let me take this here a little bit time come here and now i can do this part so it's asking me what is the primary color you want to do i can want to do this primary color this apply so you can see on the top i can see now the second color you want i want the second color the blue next you can choose the neutral branded color. I can say a yellow something next. Sorry, I did not apply my bad. It's I did not apply. I can put this apply and I can go back here and I can do. Okay, this is the primary one. That's fine. Next, next. If you want to add anything new in the colors, you can add it very easily. It's for your requirement. You can add it guys. That's fine. This is what service now is called for the user experience and I like what they, they call it. So now you can see it's like this only. And if you want, you can add any browse file here. And you can easily let me add Utah release here. Okay, it's more than that. Let me add this my 
Okay, it's again, so it's, it's a suggestion here that you cannot add more than 120 KB size. It should be SVG, PNG, this thing. Let's proceed further. You can do the font as well that how you want this color or this color, how you want to be, or sorry, not color, the font, this, and square, rounded, more rounded like this, you can do. Uh, I, I can say that it, it is a place for the UI UX guys to play around and do your work and create a theme here. Now I can use this theme on my portals as well if I want because again that is the same thing. A good feature, more to explore in this particular area, good to provide a, a kind of a unified experience to the user as per their color code of the company instead of doing any customization or writing the codes. Now we can create our this thing and you can see the experience preview as well. Choose an experience and I can say yeah. so it will be look like this here when a server customer will be logged in. Another awesome one. Thank you so much service now for this feature. Now the next part sidebar discussion. I'm not sure that it is a part of the Utah or not, but I'm getting this option as a sidebar discussion and I'm getting the three options now. All messages, unread and the favorite. Maybe this is due to the customized, I can say notification, but need to be explored a little bit more. I got it. So I want to show you this part at point of time. Now let's come here and go for the RPA hub. Sorry, uh, we missed out the identity center. Identity center is a good feature which has been launched by ServiceNow specifically for the admins to keep a track on their particular instance that how many users are logged in. Believe me, it takes two hours for me to, to understand and find out that how this identity server, sorry, identity center works. Number one, it is required a plugin named identity center. Easy to quick, quick uh, installation done. But it is tough to find out that how you can uh, how you can do this identity center. Number one, there's a no a module or application available with the same name. Let me show you here. You can go here. Identity. Generally, what when we get there's nothing called identity here, so don't worry about this. But generally, when we find any new plugin, we see it maybe some application or maybe some kind of a module available, but it is not the case here. Now let me go here and show you that where you can find out. You can click. You can go from here profiles or you can go here from the my profile and here you will get an option. Let me bring here for the view identity center. I must say service now need to be do a little bit on this part. Maybe a simple module should be added here. I tried, but it is not a good thing, which which I'm, I'm uh, loving at point of time. So this is what you can see active session login history. You can see here any mobile devices which has been registered. You can <coughs> see that data here. So you can see a different different things, but again, feature is good to track your active sessions, your login history. But I recommend that please create a module here for this particular part so that it is easy to do this thing, or maybe some kind of a UI action on the profile page only, not as a related list. I can say here. Now this has been done. Now let's come to the RPA Hub. First time after after a long time wait, service now giving the RP hub on the PDIs, PDI as well. It means you can go and you can activate the RP hub plugin in your PDI. I done that part, but unfortunately I did not get much time. So you can see here RP hub. I didn't get much time because to do the next part that is to install the RP client. I have to be do the desktop configuration all things. I did not, I did not done that part. Along with this service now launch universal recorder. So it is something like which I understood is like when I'm on the Microsoft Excel, I'm doing the recording as a macro. So this is what it has been done again. It's kind of a uh, dollar symbol was there. So it's a paid one and you can do a lot of uh, I can say service now launch with this for the multiple customers, uh, sorry, multiple applications as well. I forget the name, but some another feature has been launched by service now in this key area as well. So now you can see a beautiful RPA hub. First time I'm able to see here, you can see the complete dashboard here. You can track the things here. And again, it range as their service now making it so colorful. Only one thing which I'm not liking here, maybe some enhancements required, like this is in the white background and I have a dark theme. It is tough to be read this part. Maybe I need to be update some properties or service now do a little bit work on this part to make sure that all type of content, all type of text should be available. You can see it's little, not little good, but again, as a, as a good point, I can say here that RP is available now on that part. Now the key management framework help again to do this part have to be, there's a no plugin required, only one property required key management kind of things. You can do that part and I can, go here and I can see the key management 
and I can see tree management and uh, resource. I need to be see where was this, even though I again forget that where it was. Key management not here. Yep, resource exchanges something are not templates. Let me scroll down life cycles. No, 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 no. Yeah, key management admin, not, not this one. Not this one. Again, I'm I'm forgetting that where I can go is the key management is again, I guess, on the on the user part somewhere. But I forget that part. Really sorry that thing. But it is easily available. Just need to enable one property for the key management framework help. What it do? It will show you the complete or let me see here. It's in the in the workspaces somewhere. Not here. Not here. Let me see. I open this part in the history. Key. No, it is not showing all results for the key. Yep, it is the key management. Create new. Let's say all here. Uh, let's show. No, it's not like that. Uh, again, now I can say it's a it's a very beautiful feature of the of this particular part, which I done earlier. Key, 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 key management need to be C framework logs not key management admin not this one as well. Or maybe not, not not this one there's some simple simple thing will be come here and you can do this part very easily I'm I'm still forgetting this part that how to be this thing but one property enable your work has been done on that part now coming on the mobile changes service now bring number one from the, from the theme builder you can use or you can get the unified experience on the mobile as well with the theme in the mobile changes again not able to show you here there's a no more updates on the mobile from my perspective as of now there's a no similarities available in the Utah release as well, but now a, log, a user can log in multiple instances in this part. A notification will be come, and he can click on the notification and move to that particular instance. No more logout login has been there. On that part, service now has been enabled, or I can say has been confirmed that the latest JavaScript version in 2021. Developers can make a make a part here because I have no idea about this particular part. Here. Now, come to a little bit on the automation perspective. There's a new concept has been launched. There's a new layer has been launched by service now in the automation side that's called Hums. This is one of the platform because again, not a developer, but still try to understand the, the functionality that how it's work. Hums is a Hums is a basically a platform or the layer which take your data from service now and send it to the next or the other tool to do the analyze, analyze sorry, analyzing that particular part. So under this, what I came to know that it is be used. For the Splunk or some other tool or the other softwares where you want to be do some analytics, you can use the Hums as a platform. It is again a paid one to be clear. To be clear, now Integration Hub four things has been done again from my understanding. It has been done. I I can understand two things. That is Integration Hub. Let me open here, come here, and search for the Integration Hub. Sorry, in Integration Hub. Yeah. So I can open this Integration Hub usage here. So total 186, I can say Spox has been launched by service now. You can see or it's it is available as of now in the service now for the 186 part. Okay, uh, let me go here for the uh, I can say integration hub import usage. We've done that part. I'm just looking to show that how this can be worked for us as yeah. So now if I need to be create a new integration, so let's say this is an example given by service now. What they have launched here, number one part is that they have done a CSV format. So now when you are loading a file, you can load a file of the CSV or Excel. So both of the file available earlier in the Tokyo, it was Excel, but now the CSV has been also launched by service now here. Second, there's an auto field, field map as of now. Let me see if I have anything there. Go to download. Okay, it's too much. It's swing. Let me try do this is 12 or 13 open it wrong file type because i created a csv let me go for the excel and click on this yep i can click here thank you and now i can do this header and properties i can do and here you will get an option to do the auto field mapping something which is given by service now in the uh, i can say in the transform map, the same thing available by service now in this particular part as well. Now you can do the auto field mapping very easily on that particular thing. So this is what service now has given on the this particular part. Now coming back to the app engine once again, because a few good things has been launched by service now in the app engine. Let me come back here and search for the app engine. App engine studio. Let me go here. 
key management i'm still looking for the key management that what was the this one uh, pip module resource exchange okay yep so here now if you want to create a table let's say i want to be go here and i want to be add another table here so let me go and click on the data <coughs> sorry so here what service now say number one you can do the import which was which was already available but in this particular part they have to the field mapping as well let me show the table extended let me get a table here and let me come back here continue and when you click from the extensible is a beautiful part which i like very much you don't need to be remember the table's name guys very easy thank you so much service now once again and now you can see task no need to be remember task or sl underscore task or incident underscore request so now if you want incident if it is extensible only then it will be show otherwise no or uh, let me say the mature you can see here a beautiful part no need to be remember these things something natural language processing service now launcher people like me who don't uh, for for them it is tough to remember the table name they can use this particular option this is the first part field mapping let me come back here on on this part let me come here and um, yes leave sorry and let me open this now if i want to bring the data let me click on the data and i can click on this particular part from the import set click continue here i can import the table again my same excel sheet i can do and here you will get a option for the mapping as well so you can convert to the table and this thing let's say import spreadsheet and i want to say convert in the table it will get a new table and you can maybe extensible table the same thing you can do which we done that part but it is a good one let's say i want to go for the user table cc user continue not sure what i'm doing at point of time in this particular things but i'm sure i'm i'm doing a mess here but the benefit that you can do the field mapping here means again coming from the transform map perspective same thing can be come here as well for the field mapping so now you can see here continue and now it will show you the both thing your target table and your uh, i can say import set table if i go for the service now perspective and you can do this part so now you can see this auto map option is there this is what service now done this part a beautiful part easily done nothing to be worry about that like getting of the field mapping or kind of things then yes ai search is another beautiful concept launched by service now i can say it is a kind of a replacement of a zing i can show you on the uh, on the docs as well something new service now launch so number one point is that for to this ai search to enable we have to be activate the plugin and then we have to be run the guided setup to replace the zing with the ai and also we have to do the convert zing search applications as well so what what service now say here let me open that document here not here yeah this one so you can see here so this is what service now say you have to be unable that uh, unable that property and then you can replace the search so as of now it is a global search only you can see yeah it is a global search but now when you enable this search and you will replace the applications then you can use the ai search ai search providing a lot of benefits like auto correction or it will give you the sorting options as well but again the point is that it is not as a default if you are upgrading you have to be activate this part and you have to migrate this part so you can follow this particular link to enable this this particular ai search for your next experience and this is called the ai search for the next experience so don't forget it's a replacement of the zing now and going to be ai completely then the log expert it is a completely paid service where you can get the logs and forward to or move to the or migrate to the or send to the another tool again harms is a one of the which term i pick up harms is the basic layer or the transport layer in this particular area other than this service now done a few of the changes in the employee service center again not from the development perspective not from the consulting perspective but from the development now we can change on the root level menu here let me try to open this and let's see if i understood correctly yes see i can go here so now you can make a root level changes on the taxonomy base search is available on the topic pages as well still need to be need to be done on that part need to be identify on that part but topics or the things are given by service now very beautifully maybe it is not enabled as of now for me and it will do some some kind of uh, 
uh, I can say uh, some property changes or some configuration changes, but it is what service now giving here. Along with this service now done, a changes on the workspace like service operation, operations resilience, hardware asset procurement. Again, few of them are the paid one. We have to be take care of that thing. And second last, industry level, few changes bring on the health and safety, financial services, legal services, in respect of the flows, workflows, enhancements, templates are there. And at last, as a new version is coming, definitely in the in the new version, some old things also getting depreciated. So this is what service now say. I little feel little bad on this part, but let me show this thing how it will look like. So as per the service now docs, service now going to be remove or depreciating these feature. Number one, for 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 me, the CMDB agent workspace CMDB is not longer available. It is going to be depreciated now. So accessible, but only for the service now. So one. I can say it is a kind of a drawback, but maybe they are bringing something new in the next release. So that is the one part. On the core plan, on the customer service perspective, these tables are getting depreciated now. So from the development perspective, if we are using this table, need to be see that how this can be replaced or worked or to be taken care of that part. CSM agent workspace being depreciated from the future part. Again, not available, but little bit support available. You can go and check it here very easily. Then in the event management, there's a changes in the FSM. This plugin is getting represented. Dispatch plugin is getting depreciated. And last, ITSM agent workspace from the Utah release being prepared for the future depreciation. Maybe soon it can be depreciated. It is still available, but going to be depreciated. So service operation workspace for ITSM is for unified is RC. You can configure agent workspace. Let's see. Do we have this service operation? No, yeah, we have, but they are be they are be depreciating the ITSM agent workspace. Few changes on the identifier authentication. In the incident, end of life support process is going to be depreciated now. They have confirmed here and few of the other activation or the plugins has been going to be out here. Next experience, next page template, again depreciated service catalog from the item design is being prepared for the future uh, this thing. Or maybe they are no longer available in the future part. Walk-up experience, something more. So these are the few depreciated one which service now is going to be um, depreciated in the next release, I can say. Now I'm at, the, I'm at the end of this session. Thank you so much, everybody, for, for listening to me, for watching this video. If you like, please share with the friends and families. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.